but I want to say hi. Okay, now we'll go to a table shot for you. So we have the king, we have the emperor, the king of the kings, Aries energy. That is bossing up and this person is being very strategic with the way they are approaching your relationship. The two of coins says that they have something on their mind, a decision that has to be made. It looks like for some of you, there may have been some sort of argument, disagreement, but your person, you know, is looking to build a better foundation. They're not sure what the strategy will be at this time. Look at that. They are watching you on social media. That can even be driving by your house. It could be watching you or spying on you in any way, but we always like to think of it as social media. Look at that energy. The crowning energy card on a reading for love is the best that can be achieved or hoped for. So the Hierophant card says that that is in the energy right now of your person. We, of course, will clarify. The Two of Wands, again, we have two twos here. It's decision-making time. The energy in terms of how they feel, we get the, the uh, card, the Ten of Pentacles. They want a legacy relationship or something of substance, okay? We have them using their intuition. This is Cancerian energy. We have Virgo energy. We have Aries energy, a couple of places, Gemini energy, and Taurus energy with Capricorn here. The King of Pentacles is what they hope for. They have a lot of passion for you. They have a lot of desire, passion. This is the quote unquote daddy card of the Tarot. And so when we get this energy with the dog and this beautiful red library, we see somebody who has a passionate desire to commit. When we get coins, we get a manifestation coins are manifestation cards as most of you know your person is feeling really underwater here Pisces energy says that sometimes it can be depression quite literally but your person feels like they don't know what the answer is now I will have I do have a cautionary note for you that for some of you your person could be married to you but they could also be married to someone else okay so it does show that there is a fork in the road. This person could be juggling two relationships. And so if you are coming in as a marital partner, you know, they, they need to take action because they do want to stabilize a relationship. If you are not the person who's married to them, they really want stability. They want to be very strategic. And right now they're very much caught up in a lot of confusion about what to do. So let's take a look at the clarifiers here and see what we have. Let's see, what is it? Why do we have the Emperor card here? We're going to clarify also with this lovely Lightseer's Tarot mini deck. Okay, so we have the Ace of Swords. Your person does know they have great clarity about what they want. Ace of Swords sometimes can be reconciliation. I don't know, for some of you this will be a fight that you've had, that you're trying to come back from and your person doesn't know what to do. But the Tower card really says that your person wants to build a strong foundation. They're coming to the reading, they're coming into that, this reading with the energy of having been newly enlightened about something. All right, so the energy with this Tower card is, wow, this is, oh, look at this. We can't even make this up, can we? The Emperor, which is Aries energy, the Tower is uh, Aries energy, Mars, Ten of Swords. So there's been some sort of feeling of betrayal. It's all about for your person, they find you absolutely amazing. You are their happiness, you are their joy, but something has had to crash down or end here with the Tower card and the Ten of Swords together. Your person's trying to figure out how this is going to work out. They have a lot of confusion, though. So let's see what we have here for the Page of Swords. They're definitely watching you. They're also, look at, look at, this is such an interesting card because in this deck, the page is really going out on the sword across two cliffs over a waterfall barefoot reading a book while trying to find enlightenment so it really shows a very very sharp desire 
quite literally studying the situation to get answers about what to do in this situation. So your person's highly motivated to make things work out with you. Chariot card, I love that card, Cancerian energy. Honey, I'm home. <laughs> so they want to come home to you. And the emperor is driving the chariot. So let's see what else we have for this Hierophant card here. Let's see, we have, oh, they see you as their future. Ships have come in. So your, your person is pending making this decision to build a foundational future with you. But again, you could be in the middle of a third party situation based on the juggling and the other cards here. Most of you watch tarot. If not, welcome. And welcome to the channel if you're new here. I'm so delighted to have you. The Ace of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune is clarifying your, your person's desires to make a decision to come towards you. So it's very powerful energy. The Nine of Cups is showing that they see you as their eat, drink, be merry. Let me introduce you to my friends. So for those of you who are indeed, many of you are dating somebody who's single, we really see your person very oriented to this. Typically, once again though, the Emperor is typically a married person, but they see you as their happiness. Look at the two happiest cards in the entire deck are here for the way they feel about you. They feel so much passion towards you. They feel like you are all ticky torches, starry nights, that in a marriage with you would be really a beloved traditional relationship in which they could count on and build the future, which is a ten of coins and legacy. And the emperor is always about legacy. All right. So why do we have the high priestess here a couple of times? I'm going to clarify this one. Four of wands. That is what they see or what they intuitively believe to be the future. I'm going to check out this high priestess over here, eight of coins energy. So that is really about getting to know you, getting to know all about you. <laughs> I'm not going to sing as my day job, I promise you. But I'm getting this uh, Knight of Pentacles energy. So what we are seeing here is it looks as though, when I'm looking at this, it looks as though the storyline, and this won't be for everybody, take what resonates. Some cards will apply, some cards won't here because it's a general reading, but it does look like you're caught in a situation or you're in a situation in which somebody has to leave at least the responsibilities and overinvestment from either a previous marriage uh, behind. That, that one of the things that they have to do is they really have to be equally invested in you. And what we see and what I'm seeing here is a lot of times people who are good people, you know, they marry, it doesn't work out, they divorce, and then they have a very, very close attachment, and they are actually juggling an, a family of origin that they've helped create with another person with a relationship in which they want to develop, and I feel very much that's a strong energy here. And they just feel as though the juggling is very difficult because when you're trying to visit children, when you're trying to do the right thing by one family while you develop the potential for another, it really says that it takes quite, quite a lot of concentration. Look at this. This is the Ace of Coins. We get that energy as they want to invest in the relationship, but right now they haven't given their all. We're seeing that at the present time, they're appearing to come in and out of the relationship, which is putting you underwater, putting them underwater with Sagittarius energy. They seem to be very focused on the passion and they do have fire in their belly, but your person is almost so... I wouldn't say the emperor really gets overwhelmed, but your person is really, because of the moon card, they just don't know what the heck the, to do right now. They don't know what they're doing. Let's pull a couple of messages of love oracle cards here before we go on to Taurus. I like the reading overall for you. It shows a lot of passion, a lot of desire, a lot of investment, a lot of major arcana and good stable foundational energy here in the relationship reading new love, a new love or recommitment. Aha, re recommitment to a love is developing. 
So again, some of you could be married to this person. You could be in a third party weird situation where they might be in a divorce. There's there's three or four stories here, but you take which, which one fits you because I see a relationship that's quite beautiful and developing into something very lovely. So let's see what the Moonology Oracle has before we close this out for you. Uh, my dear Aries friends, expect a powerful change. Well, that's what the Emperor card is doing because the Emperor plays for keeps and they play the chess game close to the chest. All right. All right. So that is going to take care of Aries. I'm going to pick up the cards and we're going to take Aries off the board here. And so that when I timestamp this later, it will go more quickly, hopefully. But we're going to pick up the cards here and we will move on to Taurus. And I really wish I could see all of you on my screen, but my screen is about five or six feet away. Hello, everybody. Welcome to those who are just joining. Please like, subscribe, share if you are enjoying the reading. Um, I'm a fairly new channel. Not super new, but fairly new. Okay. So let's take a look here and see what is going on with our beautiful Taurus friends. Taurus, Taurus, we love you. Moon and Venus rule the planet, or rule Taurus. So let's see what we have. All right, so we're going to go ahead and give us, we're going to do a big girl shuffle <laughs> and see what we have here for you. Okay, so we have... Taurus energy, please give us Taurus energy. We're going to do a 10 card Celtic for Taurus and see what is going on with Taurus, your person, and how they feel about you. Okay, bottom of the deck, death card. So you are going through a transformation. It looks like it's slow moving. Some decisions will have to be made, but let's cut this deck and get down to the reading. Okay, so we have five of wands. Five of wands is Leo energy. There's a, the Aries Queen, love that. So it looks like there's competition in the situation. It can be low level conflict. You know, it can be both of you have a different idea about the relationship. The Ten of Swords, so we have had a, a situation that has come to an end here. The Sun card, nice energy for your crowning energy, Taurus. We have the Tower card, boy, that Tower card's coming out a lot. And I also see, you, you know, I I know this is Aries, but I always think of this as Uranus, like, because, you know, it's surprise, boom. So I do see enlightenment coming forward for you. Oh, nice energy, Taurus. Here you are in your reading. Okay, we have Scorpio King in the seventh house. Nice energy for your seventh house of marriage. Somebody who has their emotions under control six of swords indicating that your person wants to move away from trouble okay ten of wands here so we have some pretty heavy energy here it really does look with the bottom of the deck that there may have been a recent breakup between the two of you and or the serious consideration that that you're in a situation that just you love each other it looks like the sun card there's great passion but it looks as though both of you have very different ideas about what makes the relationship work and it's causing conflict and chaos we're seeing this energy with the tower card that you have to rebuild the foundation but I'm seeing right now you look like you're in separation most likely but your person is you know, the sun card's a happiest step. This is the best that can happen in a relationship reading. Uh, the sun card is Leo energy. We're in Leo season. We have Leo five of wands. You know, a lot of fire, a lot of passion. This is all fire and passion. Look at that. That's crazy. So it does look like you're burning up the sheets, my friends. So let's dig in here and see what we think is going on to really enlighten our Taurus friends about what you are experiencing right now now I don't usually do reversals because in a general reading I don't find it necessary but I do see that you're not balanced the good news is is that you are out of your head Taurus and so is your person both of you know that you need to find balance where there isn't any but both of you seem to be in this energy nine of swords to the ten of swords so again I think we're definitely looking like we're 
we're in separation at this point. I'm not going to leave you with this energy. I'm going to do a quick five card uh, at the end of this to see where it's going uh, because what we see here is an ending. So let's get more understanding here. Why do we have this competitive feeling? Um, I'm not seeing cards of juggling per se. Okay. So we're getting the energy of the four of coins. So somebody's holding on tightly and somebody's feeling pretty reined in by that energy. So there is a feeling of both of you are holding back and there is conflict in the relationship that you may or may not be able to overcome. But I will say this as an astrologer. When you have a situation where you have a lot of fire, it is passionate, but that same fire sign energy can cause conflict. And you see that in relationships where people feel like, well, you know, I can't live with them, but I can't live without them either. So we have beautiful Four of Wands energy, so there is a strong desire. Even though both of you are holding back, you want stability. Your person definitely wants stability when we look just at their emotions. How they view you as, you know, we are seeing that this is crossed by the Queen of Wands. Okay, so they have fire in their belly. They want the relationship. But, you know, we've gone from the Nine of Wands to the Ten of Wands, which is like giving up. Like, I don't know what to do about this. So your person is really uncertain. Let's look and see why we have the Ace of Wands here. Six of Wands, no reunion reversed, okay? Okay, so the Ten of Swords, why do we have the Ten of Swords here? Well, it looks as though, Taurus, if you're dealing with an Aries, you know, they're definitely, it feels as though your person feels that you betrayed them emotionally in some way so you know they have desire for you they feel very conflicted about what to do they want the relationship but they don't think it's possible i'm getting the two of swords reversed they I, they can't see their way into a reunion and we're getting the full card reversed which is you know not having a new beginning temperance reversed which is not having a reunion. Oh boy, I don't like this at all for you. It's much more fun to give a positive reading, but it is what it is. So please leave comments also too. We have the 10 of wands reversed. Okay, so this is really a good sign. I like this energy. The 10 of wands reversed is telling me that with the tower card in the near future, your person wants to uh, they want to come back. They have fire in their belly. Remember that. They want to begin to talk, only talk at this point, about a reunion, a possible reunion. Right now, your person does not feel that, they, that you love them. They are feeling very underwater emotionally, very overwhelmed. They don't know which way to go with that Two of Wands reversed. They feel as though the choice is yours. Taurus, not theirs. So why do we have the Hierophant here? Why do we have the Hierophant? Okay, so they want to come in very quickly. They want, they see you as a manifestation of all their, the Venus energy as a manifestation of love. Taurus energy, again, powerful energy. And when we get the Sun card, you know, Sun card is always about manifestation. They do see you as single and ready to mingle and, and you, they feel as though you're dating. They feel as though you are out having fun on the town. They feel as though, you know, you're keeping your options open. There's a lot of intense jealousy here. Now, the card that is clarifying the King of Cups is the Knight of Cups. So we get Pisces energy, Scorpio energy. So in the circumstance, it looks as though for most of you, your person did not make it clear. They did not give you a foundation that you thought was worthy of the situation. It appears that many of you may have become tired, and so you kept your options open because they weren't giving you any real sense of strong direction, and there was all this sort of fighting. So it appears that for our Taurus viewers, that you are truly feeling like you just couldn't read the situation, and you know, you're going to keep yourself in a good state of mind. Yeah, you didn't see a future. That was their worst fear. 
is that you are moving on. And, you know, of course, if you don't know that they even think about having a future, it makes sense that you would move on. So let's see why we have the Ten of Wands upright. What is the Ten of Wands upright for you? The World card. Okay. So again, we get two reversals that indicate Ten of Wands reversed and the World reversed. So what we do see is that your person is going to come back and try to talk to you. So that is what I'm seeing here for you. Now, I don't think we need to do the mini reading because it looks like your person has some, you know, some basic desire here to come back into union and to build a foundation. They're not quite sure how to do it, but let's see what the Moonology Oracle has for you. Let's see here. Let's see. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Good. Okay. So, you know, Taurus, this is going to be really up to you. You may not be interested in this person at all. You just may feel as though they didn't come forward quickly enough, but your person seems to really want to have a do-over or, you know, some sort of interaction with you that really would allow the relationship or the dating situation to open up again. So let's see what we have here for messages of love. Oh, they have regret and remorse. Someone feels remorse. For the way they treated you, Taurus, well, that makes sense, right? You, They made you feel like you were in a competitive situation. They held back. Oh, man, that's a tough one. Warning. Don't dismiss the red flags here, Taurus. That's what Spirit is saying to you. Do not dismiss the red flags. Okay. So that is our Taurus reading. So we're going to skip over now to Gemini. And see what we have for Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, so I want to say hello to all the people I can't see on the monitor right now. I apologize. I tried to pull this up and I couldn't do it on my iPad, which is close to me. So let's see what we have here. So Gemini is up next. Let's see what the energy is for our Gemini, uh, that your person of interest and what they're going to likely do in the relationships. So we're going to do a shuffle. I want to get the Moonology deck over here. I want to put this in the middle somewhere. Okay, and we're going to get the love messages oracle. Put it there. Okay, so let's get started for Gemini. Gemini, Gemini. Any Geminis in the house, say hello. <laughs> Tell me how your Lion's Gate went, okay? Tell me how Lion's Gate went with you, and I would love to see some of you. Let's see what we have. Okay, we're not doing that. Okay, so let's see. I want to say hi a little bit, okay? So, Gemini, I will go ahead and put the cards out for you, and then I will give you the table shot as I clarify, okay? But we'll talk about it as I move along here in the reading. So, bottom of the deck, ooh, Capricorn Queen. I like the energy. Stability. We like stability. Somebody who wants to take the relationship serious. Okay, well, that's a really tough first card. Ten of Wands. So, Let's see, it's crossed by the Six of Swords. So somebody has hopped in the water taxi. This can also indicate physical movement, like if somebody's moving to a different city, a different apartment, a different location. In the recent past, we do have the Hierophant card. We have the King of Cups as a crown. In the immediate future, the, six, the, the near future, we have Six of Wands. Victory, I like it. Eight of Wands. Oh, we have a lot of passion coming in here. So whatever has happened, it looks as though you may have walked away, Gemini. And this person looks like they're going to chase after you. But let's see the final card. All right. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and give you the table shot again. There we go. Okay. So my read on this is that you've walked away. It looks as though you felt sort of defensive. It looks like your person was holding back. We do have uh, the beautiful Leo energy here for victory. This is really when you want to tell all your friends, all your person wants to introduce you to their friends. It looks as though right now you're pretty mad. I mean, honestly, like you don't want to hear it. That represents you in the reading. It looks like your person keeps their feelings close to the vest. 
Eight of Wands, burning up the sheets, get the fire extinguisher by the bed. But that's not really helping because you really don't want to hear it right now. This is the energy, the Two of Swords, Libra energy, balance. But it does look like you've walked away. Vice versa, readings can always be vice versa. Your person could have walked away. But given the formation of the cards and the outcome, your person is, this is divine. That's divine energy. Their desire is to have stability, King of Pentacles energy with you. And we saw the Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So that energy is pretty powerful. So I feel more that it is you that's walked away, but you know, switch it as it, as it resonates. But let's take a look at this energy because your person really wants this to work out. They are using their intuition and right now they're not talking and they're feeling very defensive. They don't know quite exactly what they're going to do. Okay, so let's take a look and see what the clarifiers are for the Ten of Wands. Why is the Ten of Wands here in terms of how your person nine of cups oh they were enjoying themselves when you walked away the nine of cups is them feeling a lot of joy about the relationship why would the nine of cups be on top of the ten of wands it's almost like you could also interpret this like well they're really happy you walked away but i don't think i'm not seeing that because i get this victory card is what they want with you they want the king of pentacles and the eight of wands so my take on this is that they were having a jolly good time and you just sort of walked away and they were left with this Sagittarius energy going, wow, what just happened? All right, so let's see what we have for the Six of Swords energy. Why is that here? The Hermit card. Okay, so your person is, their response to you moving out of the picture is Hermit energy, you know, trying to seek answers, trying to get enlightenment. They want you in their life. All right, Seven of Wands energy wise it here for a beautiful Gemini. If I said Taurus, please forgive me. It should be Gemini, but when we run from one reading to the next, it's hard to keep focus. The Gemini energy is here though, okay? I just said Taurus because we had the Hierophant and Taurus here. Okay, so what we get is that your person is not wishing... They, they don't know how to collaborate. It's almost like they really didn't open their feelings to you. They were really defensive. They were holding back with that King of Cups energy. The Three of Cups, I mean, the Three of Pentacles indicates that they kind of really weren't working with you in the relationship, Gemini. I get that, you know, they feel as though they really weren't sure. They really didn't know what you wanted either. With the Page of Swords reversed with that Hierophant card, there was a feeling that that your person had that you may not be interested in getting married, Gemini. So that is your energy. So why is the King of Cups here for you? Your person wants to open up about their feelings. Nice. Why do we have the Six of Wands energy here? Ah, they're coming down off of this sort of, they're coming down out of the hanged man position, this defensive position, the position of being quiet. Now they want to speak up. Now they want victory with you. Now they, they have a better idea. After looking at things from your perspective, they have a better idea in terms of how to approach you and what you want. The Eight of Wands is how they feel in terms of their passion. We have Four of Wands. They love you enough, passionately enough, to want to marry you. Four of Wands energy along with, uh, you know, Hierophant and the King of Pentacles energy is powerful. The Page of Pentacles says that, in, you know, they see you as a person who really just doesn't even want to talk to them. They can't, they're not really making plans to contact you. The Page of Pentacles reverse says that they think they're, you're, they're blocked or that you just don't want to hear from them or that you might even be upset with them or angry with them. Why is the King of Pentacles energy here? Six of Swords energy, your person is not. You may have taken off in your water taxi, but they are not taking off in their water taxi. So let's see what we have here for the High Priestess as your outcome card. Let's see. High Priestess energy, what does that mean for our Gemini friends? Okay. So right now they're not experiencing a victory. Intuitively, they don't think they can have a victory with you. So right now, there's a sense of them giving up, but I don't really see it. I feel as though this is a pause, okay? 
I really do. I'm feeling like they don't know what to do. So right now they, they're not going to do something that's going to backfire. So let's see what else we have for your outcome energy. Okay, so it looks like within two weeks, that's how I would tell the timing. Ace of Coins with the High Priestess card would give me a period of time that I'm seeing. It'll vary. Within two weeks, and it looks as though they make communication with you. And I'm getting that they're going to open up their feelings, Pisces energy. They're going to share with you that you bring them great happiness, that they have laughter and joy with you. Let's see what else we have for you, Gemini. Five of Wands, though. Oh, my goodness. They feel conflicted. So your person right now is holding back. It looks as though they're trying to come up with a strategy for a win. Let's see what we have from Messages of Love. Let's see what we have here. Okay. Yep, your person is retreating. Okay, time alone or in nature will help you recharge. So that's your person's energy. Let's see what else they have before we pull a Moonology. Okay, so let's see. We have friendship. So friendship is leading to more. Now that's their feeling. Right now I see you. You look like you've really had it. Like you're just, you're like over this sort of energy with them. Let's see what the Moonology deck is saying in terms of what you can expect. We have a win-win fork. Oh, wow. Moon and Libra, full moon and Libra, win-win outcome is forecast. So for all of the turmoil that we're seeing, we're getting a good overall outcome as predicted by spirit. So I would just say your person is just, they're kind of, they're really at wit's end. They just don't know what to do because they don't want to piss you off. They don't want to make you mad, and they feel as though they've done a pretty darn good job of that so far. All right. So I'm going to pull Gemini off the table, pick up the cards, tidy, and go on to Cancerian Energy. So Cancer's in the house. Hello, hello. All right. So let's see what we have here. We have, again, hello, everyone, if you've just stopped in. I am unfortunately not able to see my screen. Um, so it's about five feet away from me. So thank you so much for the generosity of your visit. I so appreciate it. Let's go ahead and jump into Cancer's reading here. Let's see what we have. Okay. There we go. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and shuffle this real quick. messages of love okay there we go so cancer cancer how are you tonight welcome to the house let's see what we have okay so hi cancers <laughs> i feel like i'm hiding out here most people just do lives with a face shot but i know you guys really love the candle shot so all right so let's see what we have here for our beautiful cancer friends all right, so let's see what we have. Cut the deck for Cancer's person in love. Oh, look at that. Fire in their belly. They're feeling like they want to see you. So first card out of the deck is the Six of Swords. So again, we're in a state of separation, it looks like, with the Hermit card. So we have Six of Swords, which is Aquarius energy. We also have the Hermit. I'm going to give you the table shot again so you can see what I'm talking about. Hermit energy, really thinking a lot about what has happened here. Your person could have been the one to walk away, but with this Ace of Wands, they have fire in their belly. I think it was you, but we'll clarify as we go. Your person is feeling as though they messed up even because they were holding back. The Sun card, okay, so it definitely looks like it was you who left or walked away. They feel very lonely without you. They want you. They desire you. The Sun card indicates your person feels as though you are their happy place. Sun card's the happiest card in the deck. Major Arcana Leo. 
So we have Hierophant energy here with Taurus energy. So that's two major arcanas, three major arcanas. So your person is really thinking about their value system, what they believe, what they want. We see the stairway to heaven. It is a traditional marriage card. So in the near future, they are thinking that, you know, you're their happy place trying to figure out what to do. All right, we have them holding back, though this person instinctively holds back. Four of Pentacles is Capricorn energy. We, oh, oh, I always like to see the Emperor with the big chest piece. So your person in this situation is really trying to be very creative, very wily. The chess piece is really all about strategy, trying to figure out how to make a big move without giving himself away too much. We do have this person is spying on you currently. And we have the Ace of Swords. They have great clarity about you being their happy place, about what they want in the future with you. It does look as though, you know, you probably, I'm sure you had very good reason to leave. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what the clarifiers are for you. So let's see what we have. Okay, so clarifying the Six of Swords. Why on earth is the Six of Swords in the middle of an un otherwise happy reading? <laughs> it looks like your person really feels like they have to heal. Seven of Coins, no investment, okay? So I'm going to do this. Okay, so it looks as though you left because there was no investment and your person is trying to figure it out. The lover's card reversed. A choice was made to leave. Sixes, your person wanted more stability, or you wanted more stability, excuse me. So it does look like your person is really regretting this. Okay, the page of pentacles with the hermit card. They're trying to think about what step to take next, and that's evident with the Emperor card. The Ace of Wands energy really speaks to the fact that your person feels passionate about you. We're getting the Three of Coins energy. They do not feel as though they can approach you, though. Three of Coins is reversed. They feel as though at this point in time, they're collaborating with you would be very difficult. Okay, so let's see what we have. They, Your person really feels very much that you are their empress, emperor, empress. They feel like you're their divine partner. Okay, divinity here has arrived. The sun card, what do we have? Why is the sun card here? Okay, they were very happy. You really gave a lot to the relationship. They felt that the relationship was very much equal give and take and that you brought a lot to the table that you fit their image or paradigm of a person that they would marry. The hanged man reversed. I love that as a reversal. They are going to take action. I'm getting that they want a victory that they haven't had with you yet. Let's see. And here we go. There we go. We have the emperor clarifying the desire to have a victory with you that they haven't yet had. And they're coming out of their thought process why is the four of pentacles here they're they're really keeping they're playing their cards close to their chest okay we get they want to build a foundation that is stable it looks as though at some point when you left or you walked away or you know it looks as though what i'm getting for you is that they now see that they they really took a wrecking ball to your emotions to the relationship and you weren't gonna have it. You were just not having it. So why is the Emperor card here? The Seven of Cups, your person no longer wants to keep their options open, reversed, okay, like that. Your person is feeling sad, they're feeling regretful, they're feeling remorseful. They feel as though they owe you an apology. The Magician card indicates that you had great chemistry between the two of you. There was never a marriage or a definite commitment in the relationship, which they're beginning to see as a problem. Um, like, oh, duh. <laughs> but look at this Leo energy. Look at that energy. Your person's going to come on strong. I like this because this is Leo season. We have two cards of Leo. We have the Aries energy. We get a lot of stability. Your person wants to build stability with you. I see this as a really gorgeous reading for you, Cancer. 
I'm really getting the energy that you are going to have a chance to make up with this person if you want to. You know, some of you will, I think a lot of you will at least hear them out. It looks as though it would be worth your time. If you're here at the reading, you have an interest in them or you want to see them get their karma, one or the other, but leave comments below, please. If you haven't taken the time to like the video or give us a thumbs up, it would be so appreciated if you did. Okay, so your person is retreating, and that's what we saw here. The Hermit Energy says that your per person is currently in this state of retreat, and that time alone in nature will help them recharge as they think about what they want with you. All right. And a recommitment to love is developing. So great energy. Let's look at Moonology. Cancer, this looks very hopeful for you. I think that you made your point. I think that when you went silent on your person, <laughs> they're getting the picture. They were, I would say, though, a little bit slow on the uptake. They thought that you would just come back to them. They thought that they had the upper hand and they learned otherwise. Be bold and make the first move is what they are going to do. All right, Cancer. So let's go on to the next sign. I'm gonna go ahead and give you the table shot while I tidy things up here. Let's see what we have. Let's see, let's see here. off the table okay let's see what we have so we're next up is going to be leo hello happy birthday my leo friends how are you tonight so good to have you here leo in the house a beautiful time and a beautiful it's the best time of the year for love and new relationships new beginnings having babies creative projects really really fantastic okay so let's see here Get a shuffle in for our Leo friends. Leo, Leo. Okay. Okay, here we go. Wheel of Fortune. Nice energy. Nice, excuse me. <laughs> nice energy for you, Leo. Okay, so let's go ahead and start. We've got the first card out of the deck, Leo. Look at that. Two of Cups, Hierophant energy, marital energy, really commitment energy. But we have judgment card here. Your person felt as though they had to release something. It also can mean they might have to release another relationship to come to you. Yeah, there we have the devil. Okay, this is one handsome devil. That devil is making an offer to you that is a bit of a sell yourself, sell your soul to the devil energy. So Leo, this is a very tough energy. That is, you know, it's, a, it's an energy that would be very painful. It does look like you've probably walked away. It looks as though your person may have said straight up to you that they weren't gonna leave a marriage or a committed relationship. Let's look and see what we have here for the near future. Let's see, okay. Yep, the death card, okay. So, we're gonna keep going here with the, the death card, Scorpio energy. Uh, we have Taurus energy. We have Scorpio energy again. We have Cancerian energy. The devil is Capricorn energy and the 10 of swords is Gemini energy. Okay, here we have yet another marriage card. So it does look like, for some of you, your person will leave an, a marriage for the relationship, but for others of you, there's, um, it looks like the two of you may be in separation. You may be married in separation, but it'll resonate differently. Five of Wands, okay, so your person's feeling very conflicted about the decision that they've made. Let's see what we have. Nine of Pentacles, they see you as their ideal mate. Again, it looks like they're married and you're not because you are their wish fulfillment. So your person has great desire for you. 
but it does look like they've probably made the statement, a very bold statement, that no matter what, they're not leaving a marriage. Yeah, Seven of Cups, Queen of Swords energy. So it does look as though they're keeping, you know, their options open, and it looks as though they've made a hardcore decision to, you know, remain in a situation where they're not, you're not being chosen. Oh, Leo, I'm sorry for that energy. That's not too much fun. Let's go ahead and see what the clarifiers are here for this. We have Two of Cups energy. So we have, look at that, Queen of Wands. So the Queen of Wands is often thought to be the other woman. So that would be another confirmation that this is, for many of you, going to be a relationship in which a person is married or, you know, they're in a marriage-like relationship of long term. It does look like the reason would be children. So when I look at their energy, they love you very much. They find you very, they, I mean, they would like to be married to you. That's what I see as the energy here. But for the fact that they have other responsibilities. The strength card, though, says that they're kind of sticking by their guns. I'm not really seeing them. They have fire in their belly for you. They feel as though you are, you know, the infinity symbol is on the arm. Their, their desire for you is not going anywhere, Leo. That is your card. Welcome to your reading, Leo. So we have the judgment card. Okay, so to have you, they would have to release a mother of a child, Empress Energy. And I, I get them just in this, they're not even looking at it. They're not even looking at the idea of doing that right now. The Ten of Swords says it looks like you, you felt really rejected and probably walked away here. That you took this, you want a victory. You want a passionate victory. And it looks as though you didn't get that. You wanted to introduce this person as your friend, and it looks like you know, you've know you walked away from them due to the fact that they didn't give you what you needed. Okay, a no-win situation here for you. Eight of coins, your person is really gonna try to outwit you, to outfox you. They're gonna try to bring you back in, I can promise you that. They fantasize about you all the time, so even though they have this really harsh, you know, sort of queen of swords energy, being all logical they fantasize about you they're obsessed with you they want you what is the death and rebirth card here for the death reverse see they're torn they're torn do i leave do i stay do i release do i stay who do i pick so your person is really feeling more and more torn as time goes by in this situation the star card they feel as though you are their wish fulfillment and since you've left they do not have their wish fulfillment or healing why is the ten of pentacles here well you know they were married and they were playing they were playing player in and out sexy energy playful energy but really you know very much it looks like their partner might have even found out about the relationship the five of cups energy they feel as though they owe a partner, a marital partner, an apology, but it looks definitely like a player, player afoot while being married. Okay, so the Five of Wands energy is, why is that here? The Five of Swords, oh good. The Five of Swords reverse, thank heavens. So it does show that your person doesn't think that you did anything that really they didn't deserve. Your person feels as though when you look at this energy, you can see this person, that's you, you know, saying, hey, wait a minute, you know, you, you can't do that with me. I'm not going to stand for being in a competitive situation. So good for you. Let's see what else we have here for the Nine of Pentacles. So your person sees you as like the ideal partner. They see you as a person who really brings everything to the table. You don't need them. Uh, you don't. If you don't want them, that's their problem and not yours. I get Six of Swords. Oh, they do not want you going anywhere. Please, please get out of your water taxi. Steer it back this way. Please, please, Leo, please. Okay. What do we have for the Seven of Cups? Look at that. They do not, no matter what, they cannot find an answer that they are at peace with. Your person is fantasizing. They're still obsessed with you. A lot of obsession energy, even though they're in that energy of staying very, very much, 
you know now they you could have met this person at work you could still see them at work but it looks like they're really holding steadfast to this energy let's see what the monology oracle has for our leo friends let's see here one second so please spirit give us the energy of leo let's see we have you are good enough okay well you knew that you didn't have you know they feel as though you are definitely the one for them though that you are saying you're good enough is such an understatement okay so let's see what we have for messages we have this person your person is retreating which is the hermit energy okay a new love or recommitment to a to love is developing okay so we've had this for almost every sign is this commitment to uh, reinventing the love relationship? Okay. So, Leo, that is your reading for tonight. Thank you for joining us again. Please um, feel free to comment. That's always so helpful. Tell me how Lionsgate went for, for all of you. I had the most emotional, probably rough two weeks of my recent life with Lionsgate energy. The portal was uh, very, very dramatic for me, in good ways, ultimately, but we went through a lot of worry with the family. So anyway, please leave a note there. Let's see what we have for our beautiful Virgo friends. And we have Venus in Virgo, I think, um, and Mercury, I think, is in Virgo right now. So let's see what we have here going on for Virgo in love. I'm going to take one second and get a drink of water if you don't mind. Hold on one second. Let's see. Jenny, I'm just stepping over here. Leo in the house. Can't sleep. Julia. Okay. Yuri. Eldon. Okay. What's your only fans? Oh, I don't know what that means, Yuri. Cindy Fragle. Great to have you back. Cassie. Hello. Okay. So let's go ahead. I'm going to get this drink of water. We're going to continue on. Leo in the house. I like it. All right, needed a drink of water there. All right, so let's take a look at our Virgo friends and see what's going on with Virgo. And this is Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, so you, know, you can certainly keep track of whatever energy that you have in your chart because they will usually all resonate at some level. Okay, so let's go ahead and cut the deck here for our Virgo friends. I got this card. Oh my God. It's like everybody's broken up during the Lionsgate portal. Uh, Ten of Wands with Sagittarius energy. That has just come out all over the place tonight. But throwing caution from, to the wind is a good sign that your partner wants to bring you back in. All right. That was at the bottom, so I'll put it back. All right. So let's see what we have here crossing it. Okay. A foundation came down for Virgo. Virgo, it looks as though your person or you have packed it in. But I feel as though you've left, okay? That's what I'm getting. That you just felt as though there was too much instability in the situation. You're coming in with this Capricorn energy. but So I definitely feel as though your person that you left and your person is really wanting that beautiful stability. The nine of cups, your person really loves you. I mean, that's When we get cups, it's nine of cups. One more cup and you're married. So when we look at the ten of cups, we're looking at a card of great happiness, very similar to in minor arcana to the major of the sun card. Look at this. Your person loves, loves, loves you. Oh, soulmate energy. The, that is Gemini energy coming out for you, Virgo. That is your sister sign because you're both ruled by Mercury. A lot of burden, a lot of heavy feelings here that your person's having, Virgo. Your person is using this time to try to look at things and find answers and find what the answer is to this situation. Your person very much wants a victory with you. That is a card of Leo, you know. They want to be able to introduce you to their friends. They want to plan something bigger. They want to have fun. They want to spend time with you. 
intuitively your person knows that right now they're staying very silent they don't really know what this answer is right now and they don't want to make a wrong move we get the three of swords or we go third party situation most likely sometimes the three of swords though that's your person's fear is that you may have someone else okay so that's a fear that's fear that doesn't this isn't a factual card that is a card of your person's fear and what they what the outcome is on this reading is they want stability with you Taurus energy so your person's feelings is that they're very in love with you that you've walked away because of an argument or or instability in the relationship they're missing you terribly they want this victory they're formulating a thought or a plan but the uh, Taurus King of Pentacles is manifestation of them coming forward to make a new effort to create to have passion with you to have stability with you to have this loyalty dogs always represent loyalty in a relationship so it really is gorgeous energy it really speaks to the fact virgo that your person is very compatible with you in many ways when we look at virgo energy and we're looking at an astrology chart when you get virgo taurus and capricorn you have a grand trine in energy a grand trine is a gift from the universe of goodwill of love of spiritual gift that the universe gives you and there is that energy within your reading with your person so let's see sorry okay so let's look at i'm still shuffling the regular cards okay so let's look at the clarifiers here what is it why is a ten of wands here in this reading why would you have packed the bags virgo and walked away why was it so burdensome investment okay with somebody that you worked with ah uh, who is not making a commitment to you okay so we see that Virgo, you wanted something very stable and your person didn't give it in a timely manner. And so you've walked away because of that. We have, of course, the King of Pentacles energy is reversed for you when you walked away, but we see that it's upright in the future for you. Why is the Tower card here? What does the Tower card represent in this reading for our Virgo friends? What is the Tower card here for Virgo? Okay, the Tower card says that somebody was putting, kind of playing head over heart. There was aloof energy. There was energy of holding back. The King of Swords is like the surgeon who can cut you open and not cry, which is a good thing, but it does show that Virgo, your person's very, very intelligent, and they saw they saw that and, and from them from their standpoint they just didn't think that there was a foundation and so there's a certain detachment here for them they do love you they do see you as their divine partner with the queen of pentacles king of pentacles four of swords says that your person virgo really felt very much that you were in this energy they just didn't feel there was a win here now it does not look like they've healed totally either so your person is still in a certain amount of pain in the situation the three of wands tiki torches starry nights oh you know beautiful vacations and sunny destinations so you know in the past it looks as though the two of you really felt your partner certainly felt that you were the one so Virgo, they did see you as their future in the past. They saw you as their happiness, their future. So again, very much in love with you. Very much in love with you. Okay, why is the lover's card here for our Virgo friends? Oh, they thought the world of you. They thought that you were the finest person, the most wonderful person with whom they've ever had a relationship. They wanted to live happily ever after and finish out their time in this world with you. Uh, it does show, though, that you've closed the chapter, so it is the end of one chapter and the beginning of another. Again, it's a life cycle, and it's a successful. You, what you had together was really great. Your person absolutely wants a new beginning with you. They really are very aware of that. The Justice card says that they want equal give and take in this relationship. They want it balanced. They have great clarity in terms of they want something that's an investment your person is again in this energy 
that you know they want you to invest in them we do get the queen of pentacles reversed in terms of the high priest to see a person virgo is not really able to see how much you want the relationship there it shows that the lack of discussion about this has made your person feel a little bit upside down again your person feels as though they know the score they feel as though they know what you're hiding or what you're thinking they feel as though you're keeping your options open and they feel as though it was a no-win situation so let's see what we have here so let's see we have the king of pentacles energy the two of swords okay so right now i am not seeing virgo that your person your person feels really frustrated they feel aggravated sort of like what the heck do you want from me i don't know what to do here nothing i do seems to please you this message is, is that these crows are really bothering them so they are not at peace in this situation in which you've walked away they really feel very stressed out they want you back they want to manifest you. Children are an important are an important part of the, the decision making here and the situation. And protected. So you are safe and divinely guided. So that's great energy. So I would say, Virgo, that you know, this option to keep this open or to realign in this relationship, to come back into the relationship will be yours. I definitely feel that. The answers you need are coming. Okay. So Virgo, that's uh, that's your reading for tonight. There's a lot that's undecided, but it looks like there's a lot of good energy here pending if you're open to it. So it'll be up to you. A choice will be made, and it looks like it's going to be your choice. So let's see what else we have here. All right. So anyway, I wish I could see what everybody's doing. It's getting kind of late around the world. Uh, I love the fact that I have so many people from the UK. It's so lovely. Thank you so much, Julia. Also, how was your birthday? Tell me, tell me, how was your celebration? Did you have some fun, I hope? All right, so let's see what we have. Okay, so we're only halfway through and we've spent a lot of time, so... I want to see if everyone would like shorter readings. Could you leave some comments over here? And I'm shuffling the deck right now for our beautiful Libra friends. Let's see what we have. Oops. Oh, cards everywhere. Okay, I'll get a different deck. <laughs> it's going to take up too much time. Okay, so let's look and see what we have here for our beautiful Libra friends. I'm going to shorten this up to a six. Well, no, I'm not. I'm not. I love a 10 card Celtic. Okay. I'll just try to go a little faster. So what we see here is the seven of wands feeling very defensive. All right. So Libra, your person's feeling like they have to defend themselves. The nine of cups, they just adore you. You are their merriment. You are their happiness. They see you as their future. Your person really sees you as highly desirable, single and ready to mingle, nine of pentacles energy. The four of cups, you know, their feeling is, is that they are not, they're not necessarily feeling with this seven of wands energy that you're in it in the same way. Their concern is that you could be bored with them. This is also a person who is, you know, seven of cups energy themselves. You know, your person, Libra, looks as though they're keeping their options open and so it is what it is so far. Okay, Five of Swords, ouch. Libra, Libra, what is going on here with your person? We're getting the Strength card in the situation. So both of you have fire in your belly for each other, but your person has fire in their belly for you, but we're going to have to clarify and see what's going on. Six of Swords, their biggest fear is that you're going to leave them behind. Get in the water taxi. They fear that you, they have this big fear that you're bored with them. Queen of Cups energy, your person loves you. Queen of Cups is love. That is that beautiful Cancerian energy. So let's go ahead and clarify the cards for you. Let's see what we have here. Okay. 
so we have the seven of wands why is the seven of wands here your person finds you magical you know it's interesting because they're trying to manifest you. The Seven of Wands is it's almost like they don't want to give. They're protecting themselves. They're protecting their heart space. They're having fun with you. They see you as their future, but they're pretending to be bored. How weird is that? The Magician card is, key, you know, it's kind of secretive. Magicians keep secrets. And so we're getting this energy here that says that behind a wall that they've built, they're trying to manifest you, and yet, your take on it would be that they're bored. Well, why do we have the Four of Cups here? Yeah, you don't even think that they would want to have any kind of a future with you. Okay, it looks as though that would be your feeling. The Nine of Wands, you don't see them as a person with fire in your belly. Yeah, this person, look at that, Pisces energy. You know, they're underwater. I would say that with all of these cups here, this person has a tendency to party and to not really be in touch with their feelings. I'm getting that there's a real struggle. They're trying to manifest, but boy, these are tough cards with which to manifest. It shows that your person's really uncertain with what they want. That's Pisces energy. The Five of Swords also says that they're not really being fair about giving you an investment. I'm getting, look at that. They're, it doesn't look like they're on social media watching you either. Hmm. The Six of Swords energy says that they're fearful. Yeah, that's a water taxi that you've moved away. Their biggest fear is that you've moved away, that you've walked away, that you're walking away, that you've, you know... So why do we have the Queen of Cups? So that energy, Three of Coins, they just don't, they're not seeing themselves able to really come to the table and give you what you want, Libra. I just feel like you're really in a mismatch situation. I think it's really a tough situation. I think it would be very, very difficult for you to be in this situation. And very much that, you know, it's not a good situation for you. And, hmm, really tough energy. So, let's look and see. I'm going to look at, I'm going to pull a Moonology and two messages of love. And then I'm going to do a very quickie five card spread to see if somebody new is coming in. We have, have faith in your dreams, okay? So this could just not be your person. South Node, don't let your past hold you back. Okay. So it's really, really says that you have something better coming in is what I'm seeing. That this is not really, this person has love, but they don't know what to do with it. They don't know. They just really have their head up their tail feathers. Trust. It is safe to trust this person, but my God, Master, you've learned a spiritual lesson. So you're trusting yourself. That's the bottom line of what I'm seeing. So Libra, Libra, I think you did a smart thing here in walking away. This person looks like they could be very messy. Um, it looks like they have fire in their belly for you, that they want you back, but it looks as though they might not have the chops to really do it. So let's see here. It, lo it just looks very awkward, very messy, very difficult. So, you know, if you made the choice to walk away, which it appears many of you did, was probably a very sound choice. Okay, trusting yourself and having mastery over yourself is a good thing. All right, so I still want my Lightseer's Oracle or my Lightseer's Tarot. I like it better. Okay, picking up the cards. I splattered them everywhere. I don't know what that means. <laughs> tell me, tell me what it means. It's just so, I just don't even know why I can be so clumsy with them. But as many of you know, they just leap out of my hands on a regular basis. Lots of messages. Okay. Okay, good. Okay. So, okay. So Scorpio, Scorpio in the house. Let's see what we have for our Scorpio friends. Scorpio, Scorpio. All right, Scorpio, how does your person feel about you? Let's see. Three of Swords are brokenhearted. Wow. Brokenhearted. They want a new beginning. 
They want to have a commitment. You are their soulmate. They want to come in romantically. And they messed up. It looks like you have you're in separation right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and see. Your person loves you, Two of Cups. Your person wants a victory with you, Six of Wands, Leo Energy, and Cancerian Energy. They have fire in their belly. They want to fight for the relationship. Your person feels as though they owe you an apology. They feel sad for what they've done. They're part in it. They're trying to manifest you back, Scorpio. The Devil Energy, they're very, very obsessed with you. That is Capricorn. We have Virgo, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Sag, and Five of Cups is oh, I always have Scorpio. Okay. Scorpio, you're here in the house. Okay. Seven of Pentacles, your person wants to invest with you. There you are, Scorpio. Look at you in the situation. You really do want, you know, it really shows that your person wants you and sees you in their future. Six of wand, six of coins says that they want equal give and take. They want a new beginning. All right. So if you've been in any sort of a wishy-washy situation, um, for some of you, it looks like you're going to have a new beginning. But it looks like this is just ready for takeoff. This is the airplane on the runway. This is the energy of you really, really, um, your person really, really cares about you. There's, you know, they're a little bit controlling though. Whenever I get the devil card, everybody says toxic, but I really always see that as a card where, you know, somebody feels as though they have to control the situation to be safe. The Ten of Swords energy reversed, so it does look like there's been a reconciliation. Nice energy. So your person really, you know, they're, they feel as though you probably went silent on them for a while. And they're in this beautiful energy of wanting a victory. Yep, there they go. They've manifested you back. It looks as though you're speaking again. Oh, <laughs> look at this. This is like the Six of Wands, the Six of Wands. We have a reversal as well as an upright. So it looks like your person lost in love the first go round and they're trying to have a second go round with you. What is the Nine of Wands energy? We have Three of Coins. They want to work things through with you. Your person really wants to work things out. They want to collaborate, which is a very good relationship card. That's like Home Depot. Let's go find the paint chips at the paint store. Nine of Wands, again, your person really has fire in their belly for you. It looks like they're probably going to come forward with an apology. Why is a Magician card here? We look at... They feel as though they need to manifest you because they showed their shadow side with the devil card so your person feels as though they didn't give you their best that they want to come back to you but you have to watch it that is one handsome devil the queen of cups reverse says that there's a really almost an over emotional energy here this person may have difficulty right now with how they feel and struggling with how they feel it's almost as though they're trying to fight off their love for you and, but they're obsessively sort of in need of you. So it's really interesting here. All right. So we have the Ace of Swords. They want to invest. They want to come forward. They want to, a new beginning. They want this reunion. They want, to make, they want to really make you sure of how they feel about you. The King of Cups energy here is Three of Wands. They're, your person sees you as their ships that arrived in the harbor, but they don't know that you feel that way. They're waiting for you to say, yep, I'm on board. You know, they really want that answer from you. Six of Coins is the Ten of Wands reversed. So your person feels burdened by the fact that perhaps they weren't able to give you enough in the relationship. And the Queen of Wands energy with the new beginning. Beautiful. Beautiful Aries energy. Mars, very compatible with uh, Scorpio energy. So it does look as though your person is pursuing a relationship. They really want it. There's, you know, the, the red flag is the devil card. But again, Scorpio, if you can handle it, if you can, you really have the power to handle this because this person wants you and they desire you. There's, uh, they really want to come forward. The answers you need are coming. Full moon and Gemini energy for moonology. And the message of love here for our beautiful Scorps is longing. Your person is longing for you. And they want, this is this card keeps coming out. 
they want a new re recommitment to love with you. Okay. So Scorpio, that is your reading. Thank you so much. Let's see what we have here. So really nice. I love that energy. I'm thinking that somebody in England might be liking this energy also. <laughs> so I really like that. That's uh, it's really beautiful. I love that reading for our Scorpio friends. And it looks like Scorpio, you are in love with your person person's in love with you there's some uncertainty you need to clear up but it looks really beautiful so let's see what we have okay all right up next will be Sagittarius energy so let's see what we have here for Sagittarius Sagittarius what do we have for our beautiful Sagittarius friends Sagittarius. Okay, so let's cut the deck. Bottom of the deck, Ace of Wands. Ooh, Sag. <laughs> you have some passion for someone. Someone has some passion for you, but uh-oh. We have a little energy here that says that you might not be talking to this person for several days. Okay, so let's take a look and see the situation as we see it. Oh, King of Wands reverse. Now, I'm not going to do reversals tonight on the main spread. Okay, King of Wands reverse says that Sagittarius is Leo energy. It is Leo season. Romance is on your person's mind. They also have remorse and regret. They're staying awake at night. They're losing sleep over something that happened. They are not ready to give up on you, Sag. They want you back. They feel as though you released them, and they are not willing to settle for that. We have Pisces energy. They feel really underwater emotionally. They're depressed. They're stressed and depressed. They feel defensive. They feel they want to fight for this relationship with you. The Ten of Swords energy in the near future says that if you're not open to having a reconciliation, they feel like they have no alternative but to walk away. Look at this lover's energy for you, Sag. Gemini energy, Pisces energy with the Nine of Cups. You are their happy place. They are joyful when they are with you. This is soulmate energy. They feel as though you are the one for them. They feel as though they were a lightweight. Their biggest fear is that they were a lightweight in this relationship and didn't give you what you needed. The Two of Swords, man, they feel like you are not talking to them. Wow. Okay. You are not talking to them. All right. So let's clarify this and see what's going on, Sag. You have the King of Wands. Why is the King of Wands energy here? Let's see what we have. Okay. Well, they're watching you on the internet. They're watching you have the good life. They're feeling left in the cold twice here. Again, this person has the key. You're open to having them come forward. The key is here. If they took their head out of their tail feathers, that they would see that there's an opportunity to come in from the cold with you. But they have to come to you right because you're just not going to settle for anything less. The judgment card reversed. Why is it here? Your person is really set on a victory with you they don't know how they don't know why they don't know when they really love you they're drowning in their love for you quote unquote metaphorically of course we see the justice card they want you they want to be balanced they want to come to you in the right way i like libra energy it rules the seventh house of marriage so it really speaks to the fact that your person wants something serious with you the ten of swords why is the ten of swords here they didn't get their empress. They see you as their empress, Sag. They feel as though, you know, they didn't have a choice. They feel as though you are not having it, and so they don't have a choice. They, they feel like they can't manifest you. They feel as though the their soulmate has taken the Uber taxi. And, you know, even if this is them, it's sort of like, get out of my house. And they feel like, you know, I don't think that's what happened, but... I feel as though they thought you were their soulmate and you were like, yeah, I don't think so. This isn't working for me is what you seem to have said to them. 
We get the Knight of Swords energy. They want to come in and tell you how happy they make you. They want to celebrate with you. They want to take you out for a night of fun. They want to introduce you to their friends. They do see you as a rock star and they definitely realize that they were immature in their approach, that they need to be more spiritual. They need to step up to you with a true love energy. Let's see why we have the Two of Swords here. Healing has to go on. It looks as though your person has not healed. It looks as though they have a lot of work to do in terms of their emotions. Ah, good. This person, whatever has happened in the past that made you walk away, they have absolutely closed down the idea that they want anybody else. They want you, Sag. We get that beautiful Aries Queen energy. So your person wants you. They have a lot, a lot of sadness. They're just really suffering because you, it looks like you told them to take a hike and you took a hike in the other direction. So let's see. Acceptance. Everything happens for a reason. Unhealed wounds are blocking forward movement, and that is what I'm seeing here. We get unhealed wounds when we've got the moon card. You know, we get the energy of unhealed here. So it does, in the Six of Swords, is a need for healing. So let's see what Moonology has to say for you here, my beautiful Sagittarius friends. Let's see what we have. All right. Don't let your past hold you back. There we go. All right. So Sag, that is South Node, and the South Node is in Sag right now. All right, so Sagittarius, that is your reading. Uh, I hope that worked or help was helpful to you. Let's see what we have here for our beautiful Capricorns coming up. Capricorn, Capricorn, you are finishing up the last few years with Pluto, the sign of the death card, Scorpio energy in your sign. What is it that transformed in your life in the recent years? Very curious to hear from you. Let's see what we have. Okay. I need a quick cup of, a little drink of water here. Thank you for everyone for hanging in here with me. It's so nice. Okay. So, let's see. So, okay. Capricorn is up next. Okay. Drink of water. All right. Okay, Sag, so it was nice reading for you. Thank you so much. Capricorn, what's going on with our Capricorn friends? Capricorn, how are you tonight? Okay. Cutting the deck. Let's see what we have here. Capricorn at the bottom of the deck, Ace of Swords. Nice. Page of Swords. You're very curious about somebody. But you do feel like you're a little left in the cold here. So we'll see what's going to happen. So the situation as it is right now, eight of coins, getting to know somebody, investing in somebody. Feeling though like um, your person's feeling as though they're in a competitive situation. That you're probably dating other people. You might know each other at work. This may not have manifested quite yet. But Eight of Wands are coming in. They have a lot of passion for you. Sagittarius energy. The Magician card, they're trying to manifest you. Look at that. What a reading. That's a lot of major. That's beautiful major arcana. We have Gemini and Virgo energy. The Strength card, they see you as their person. They have fire in their belly. Look at that. King of Pentacles energy, the Daddy-Husband card. That's very compatible with Capricorn. Ace of Coins making an offer. Ace of Cups, Capricorn, look at you. You are on fire, my friends, on fire. Your person is really afraid. They am, uh, they're falling in love with you. They want to make an offer. The offer would be substantial. It would be for traditional relationship. You're 80% of the way there. We've got two eights. That's, you know, very much stability and manifestation. Your person is really afraid that you might be bored with them. Libra energy, there we go, seventh house energy. Your person wants to be very fair and balanced, but when we look at the justice card, we are looking at seventh house relationships, which are partnerships of a legal nature. 
Okay, so let's see why we have the Eight of Coins. Beautiful energy. This looks like a brand new relationship. It looks as though they don't know that you're sold on them. They feel as though you might still be dating somebody, Cap. But your person is really in it to win it here. Really in it to win it. They're feeling as though you're not paying attention to them. Again, they see you on social media. It looks like they think that you're dating other people. Why is the Eight of Wands here? Let's see. Yep. <laughs> Capricorn, your person feels as though they can't come forward, that they can't approach you. That King of Wands energy, that he that's a frustrated energy. Eight of Cups, they're not going to go anywhere. I really think you have shown disinterest in this person, and they're just not wanting to take no for an answer. Yeah, Four of Coins, uh, Four of Swords are very wounded. Their attraction to you is very powerful. Wow, Cap. Let's see. Queen of Swords energy reversed. The High Priestess. So the energy that your person has is that they're not they're not leaving anywhere. They are not, they're really stuck on the idea of you. When we get, but they are upset. Your person is upset. They feel as though you're not giving them the time of day. That Queen of Swords reversed is an angry card typically. But they're hiding it. You know, they're hiding it with the Magician and the Five of Coins. And the Cancerian card of the High Priestess. Why is the Ace of Coins here for Capricorn? Wheel of Fortune is turning, not turning in your person's favor. They feel as though they're unlucky in love with you right now. They feel as though they just don't have a choice here. They have no say in the matter. Ace of Cups. We have three of cups. Look at that. Your person really feels as though you're they're in love with their best friend. Three of Cups is celebration. They would like to take you out. They would like to introduce you to their friends. I'm getting the energy that they have fire in their belly for the relationship. They want to talk to you. They want to approach you. You may be dealing with somebody who's younger than you. They feel as though they just bore the heck out of you, Capricorn. But if you're in this reading, then that can't be totally true. Correct? Look at that. So we have the Queen of Wands here. So they feel as though you are absolutely fiery, beautiful, sexy. They want you. They want your attention. They, they're fall, they are really falling hard for you. So Capricorn, let's take a look and see what we have for the Moonology energy in this reading. Let's see, we have luck is on your side. Nice, Capricorn, I like it. We get that is New Moon in Sagittarius energy. And let's see what the messages of Love Oracle say. So you're in the driver's seat here, or the cat bird seat as I like to call it. You have the power. Mastery, you've learned the spiritual lesson. Time apart, some distance will help bring clarity. All right. Okay, Capricorn, I'm loving that. That's a nice reading for you because you're in the driver's seat here. Looks like your person's feeling very vulnerable. Uh, looks as though they have some things to learn along the way with that eight of coins. They need to develop more mastery in the relationship before they can really manifest you. All right, so let's see what we have here. There we go. Okay, so we're up to Aquarius and Pisces. Okay, so let's see what we have. Okay, Aquarius. Hello, Aquarius. Aqua, Aqua. Leo is in your seventh house of marriage right now on the astrological solar wheel. Okay, so let's go ahead and look. All right. Okay, so let's see what we have here. I'm going to cut the deck. All right. So let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. Equal give and take. Oh, three of swords. It's happiness celebration. Interesting energy here. It looks as though there could be a third party situation. So let's see what we have. We have. Page of Cups. Okay, so somebody's a lightweight in love. <laughs> okay, Aquarius. They have fire in their belly, but this could be somebody who's younger than you. 
Seven of Cups, oh my goodness, Pisces energy. This person looks like a hot mess. Nine of Swords, they have remorse and regret. They're a lightweight. When pigs fly, they can produce this really intense energy with fire in the belly. Oh my goodness, runs with scissors, okay. So your person has a lot to say, but it looks a little reckless. Oh my God, Eight of Swords, self-imposed restriction. All right, Three of Cups, your person really adores you. This looks like it's a friend who has a major crush on you. It does look like the crush is probably mutual, though. The Eight of Wands represents you in the situation. So it does look as though maybe you're holding back for other reasons. Maybe there's something about this relationship that you feel you can't act on it with your person. Unrequited love, though both of you may want it. Okay. Queen of Wands energy. So let's take a look at the clarifiers here for you. All right. So let's see why we have, what is the Page of Cups? Why is it here? The Sun card. This could also be a childhood uh, friend that you've not been able to come into union with. For somebody out there, that's going to be the story. And also, too, it, it looks like there could be some distance here with that uh, Knight of Swords. Okay, so Nine of Cups. Oh my gosh, you guys. Your person adores you. They think that you are the happiest place. You're like their Disneyland. Disney World. You are their happy place. Why is the Seven of Cups here? They don't feel like they're bringing enough to the table. Your person feels as though you're more empowered in life than they are. You're more successful than they are. They're coming in as a page. You're a queen. They feel pretty hopeless. <laughs> Maybe with good reason. There we go. Page of Cups reversed. So... That's even worse. <laughs> Page of Cups reversed. Okay, so your person really wants a happily ever after with you, but they're not going to make an approach. They feel as though you might have someone else because we saw that Three of Swords earlier. Somebody who can give you more. They just don't feel as though they measure up. Your person feels as though they don't want to hold back anymore they want to confess their feelings they want to come forward very quickly they want to tell you that they love you they want to tell you that they see you as their as a happily ever after they really have no clue what they're doing the emperor reverse says that they're really not aligned with being able to make the stealth move that it requires the chariot card is telling me that as you your person would love to move forward that's their wish they would love to move forward and build a relationship with you. They are going to make a romantic overture to you. The Six of Cups, you may have known this person a long time. They're also going to apologize to you with that Five of Cups energy. So, boy, oh boy, this looks, <laughs> this is an unusual reading. Please leave comments if you're an aqua. I would love to see comments. Let's see what we have here for your messages of love. Soulmate. Your soulmate loves, accepts, and respects you unconditionally. So the soulmate card is here. We've got the Scorpio card here of soulmate. So that's interesting. Let's get another. Okay. So let's see what we have. Intuition. Use your intuition. Okay. Let's see what the Moonology deck has for you, Aquarius, in terms of your advice. Let's see. The answers you need are coming. So, all right, interesting. I feel I don't feel really satisfied with that. Let's look and see what the Shaman's Dream Oracle has to say about this. Quite unusual reading. Let's see, one card for Shaman's Dream. Repairing the body, mind, and spirit. So right now, you're not really supposed to be doing anything other than taking very, very good care of yourself. So... Aquarius, I'm going to leave that there for you, and I hope you found that helpful. Let's see what we have for our beautiful Pisces friends. Pisces, Pisces, Neptune is in your sign right now. You, it's, it's, you know, you must feel really good about your life. It looks as though, you know, whatever you can imagine, you can manifest right now. I love that energy for you. So let's see what we have here. Okay, Pisces, let's see. All right. Okay, shuffle for Pisces. 
I am right when we finish this, I am going to come back on and I'm going to say hi. And um, I would like to chat with a few of you, but I'll do it off camera because <laughs> the screen that I have to look at is in another chair in another place. But I guess I could turn the camera so you can see me doing that. Okay, so let's see what we have here. Let's see. So at the bottom of the deck, Pisces, we have sadness, disappointment about an offer and something that you wanted to get going. It does look as though it may still come to fruition, though. So Pisces, your person is got the hots for you. Nine of Wands energy. Ooh, in and out. They want to race in. They want to make love, do a little dance, get down tonight. They want to party. They want to have fun. They want to eat, drink, and be merry. Ah, interesting energy. Ten of coins in the past. Hmm, we'll have to figure that one out. The, your person, it's possible that they could be married, but we'll see. They do see you as a divine feminine. They do see you as a manifestation of Venus and love. Your person is coming in as a lightweight, though. They're rushing in to talk to you, to make love to you, to, you know, have fun with you. But when pigs fly, they'll be able to make you a really substantial offer. They feel defensive. They feel like they've, they have something that they have to defend against. Oh, you've walked away. or you're. They really feel as though you're going to walk away from them, okay? They feel as though, oh, Wheel of Fortune turns in their favor is what they're hoping for. Ah, the Nine of Pentacles. So I would say for many of you, your person's in a committed relationship and or they're getting a divorce. But what I'm seeing here, Pisces, is that they see you as divine love. They see you as a manifestation of everything they could want. I don't think that they're prepared. It looks like they might have left a marriage. And it doesn't look like they're really ready for commitment, but they want to date you for sure. They want to advance the passion and the relationship. But right here, it really looks as though you're not so interested. Like, you know, you're, it looks as though you want something more serious. So let's see why we have the Knight of Wands energy. Let's see. We have the Seven of Wands not being able to defend yourself against their attractive energy all right ace of cups that can be unrequited love no ability to really have this love go anywhere okay so i really see this relationship as far as you're concerned pisces this does not have a future it doesn't have enough stability for you yep other woman quote unquote there's so that's usually the other woman or the other man in a relationship with someone who is married. Why is the Knight of Swords here? The Three of Pentacles, it's reversed. It's not like really a situation that can be resolved. Why is Nine of Cups here? Two of Cups reversed. So there's a lot of love, there's a lot of affection, but no chance to be man and wife. It looks like there could, let's see. Yeah, the Tower card, the instability is coming with a wife or a mother figure when we get two women in the deck we, it, it does look like there's another woman involved in a third party situation yeah i just see this look at this the double ten of wands just like having to leave the situation because there's nowhere this can go your person wants to invest in you but look at that i mean how do you invest in somebody if you're married to another but you know emotionally they don't want to be a player. They have remorse and regret over the, how they've treated you, Pisces. They, they really want something more substantial. But I don't... They would have to leave the Empress. Let's see. We get, look at that. It's here twice. They would have to leave the Empress. They would have to leave a marriage. Are they willing to do that? I don't think so because... You know, they want to. I mean, ouch, that's just all so gnarly, isn't it? That's a really difficult, yeah. I, I just feel like for you, Pisces, this is a fling and not a thing. And that you're okay with it. You seem to be very sound. Your person looks like they've become a hot mess because they thought they were going to have a night of fun and fell in love with you. 
Look at that. Yeah, they want you, they want you, they want you. They see you as divine feminine. They don't want to be alone. They don't want to be without you, but indeed they are. So it does look like you're really sound in this situation. It looks like they're hurting. Okay, what are the messages of love here? Denial. Yeah, they're in denial. Look at that. Look at that. They want a second chance with you. Interestingly enough, obviously that is your choice. Let's see, what do we have here for the monology deck? And I'm going to, I want to be able to, to see you. Tell me if you like to see my face during the readings or not. I mean, do you like the table shot better? Please say below what you would like. 50-50, a combined shot. Meditate new moon in Pisces. Look at that energy. New moon in Pisces. Meditate and contemplate and take good care of yourself, Pisces, in this relationship. So, let's see. Okay. So, Pisces, that's what I have for you. I am going to walk away from the camera. Let me see if I can switch this camera around so that you might be able to see what I'm talking about here. Let me see if I can move this camera without messing it up. Okay. So, here... You can see my other desk. <laughs> let me move my, let me move that out of the way. So you can see my desk that's far away from me. That's my editor right over here. And so I'm going to go over here and I'm going to see you. Okay. So, all right. So everybody, I'm thanking you so much for being here tonight. Um, and I want to say bye bye from Chicago. Send some love. Sending your love from Chicago. Thanks so much, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.